Rakatoma slash Preservation Inlet is the southernmost fjord in Fjordland National Park and lies on the southwest corner of the South Island of New Zealand. With an area of 93 square kilometers, 36 square miles, it is the fourth largest fjord in New Zealand, after Tamatea slash Dusky Sound, Doubtful Sound slash Potter, and the neighboring Tayari slash Chalky Inlet to the north. Rakatoma was briefly the site of an attempted fishing and gold mining settlement at Cromarty during the 19th century, however this was quickly abandoned once the level of gold declined in relation to more promising fields elsewhere, too. As with Tayari slash Chalky Inlet immediately to the north, Rakatoma slash Preservation Inlet has reasonably complex geography, resembling an inlet in its outer reaches more than the well-defined fjords to the north. According to Maori legend, these fjords were carved by the demigod Tuti Kiwanoa using his ads, Tehamo. Starting from the south with Rakatuma, his initial efforts were rough and resulted in rough coastlines with many islands, before perfecting his technique by the time he created Pio Piotahai at the north. 3. The main body of Rakatuma is connected to the Tasman Sea by two passages, separated by Coal Island. The main passage of the fjord sits to the north of the island and is 1.67 kilometers, 1.04 miles, wide at its narrowest point. Otago Retreat separates Coal Island from the mainland to the south, which has an average width of less than a kilometer and just 375 meters, 1,230 feet, at its narrowest point. Numerous smaller islands are located in the middle portion of the fjord, between Coal Island and the entrance to Te Awaroa slash Long Sound. The southern half of this section is dominated by two large islands, Waika slash Long Island and Steep to Island, while the northern half has many more smaller islands as part of the Cording Islands group. Towards the northeast of the lower portion of the fjord, it again splits in two. The upper half forms a roughly 5-kilometer long arm known as Isthmus Sound, while the lower half forms a narrow channel to the inner fjord. After two further arms, Useless Bay to the north, and Revolver Bay to the south, the fjord changes from its predominant northeasterly direction to the northwest for 5.5 kilometers, 3.4 miles. After this, the fjord turns back to its original orientation for the remainder of its length. This inner portion of the fjord, running for approximately 16.5 kilometers, 10.3 miles, is known as Te Awaroa slash Long Sound. Both the European and Maori portions of this name refer to the fjord's length with Awaroa translating as, Long River, dot, for, at its head, this fjord is in turn fed by the outlet of Long Burn, 5, Grey River flows nearby the inlet. A large part of the interior of Preservation Inlet is protected by the Te Tapui O Hua, Long Sound, Marine Reserve. Known to early sealers and whalers, it was named Port Preservation by Captain Eber Bunker in 1809. The first shore-based whaling station in New Zealand was established here in 1828 or 1829 by Captain Peter Williams, exploiting southern right whales in the area, 6, 5, 7. In the 1890s gold deposits were found. Two settlements, known as Cromarty and Te Anaroa, were established in Kisby Bay for miners. However by 1904 only a few miners were left and few traces of the settlements remain though in places large pieces of rusting equipment can be seen in the regenerating bush at the sites of the historic Alpha and Golden Mines, 5, 8, 9. In October 2019, the name of the inlet was officially altered to Rakatuma slash Preservation Inlet, 10. After a massive exploitation for over years, southern right whales finally started returning into the inlet along with Chalky Inlet, 11, 12, 13. There are anecdotal sightings of Hector's dolphins, 14, while bottlenose dolphins are more regularly observed. Southern elephant seals are occasionally observed resting on shore around the inlet, 15. No roads reach the coast at this point. However, a tramping track is available from Tuatapara to Big River, east of Preservation Inlet. After Big River there is no continuous track or marked route to the inlet. There is also access to the sound by sea or air.